I mean, just to be clear, this is not, you know, a little kind of two-bit factory on the other side of the world or, you know, not really supplying. This is right here in the UK, a major factory where many people are likely to have eaten that chicken. Yeah, I mean, chicken is Britain's most popular meat mm. by a country mile and it has been for a couple of decades now. Mm. And Two Sisters is the country's biggest chicken supplier. Supplies a third of all chickens in the mm. country. You almost will certainly have eaten a Two Sisters chicken and this factory was supplying everyone from M&S, Sainsbury's, down to Aldi. And big names. Yeah, these are really big names. This is a massive breach of trust, if nothing else. Even if we can prove that there's nothing that has necessarily caused any harm to consumers, it's a serious breach of trust. Hills, let's talk about the medical side of this, because mm. chicken is the meat that I'm most afraid of, if ever I'm doing any cooking, which isn't very often, but because I know that actually it has so many potential ways it could go wrong, mm. and we're watching people drop chicken on the floor, put it back yep. into the production line, yep. we're watching them change the dates that the chicken was killed to extend their shelf life. Yeah, and that's how Campylobacter, this bacteria which is almost endemic in chicken, uh, is passed from flock to flock and gets into the food chain. So the, the, the more human traffic and the, the, the more poor processing practices there are, the greater the incidence so it's of Campylobacter. It is dangerous. Mm. Uh, Campylobacter is in 65% of all the chicken you buy, whether it's from butchers or from supermarkets. Anyway, if you cook it thoroughly, uh, you minimise the risk and of course there's also responsibility in the, in the home and in restaurants. Mm. But if the raw product that anyone is buying is already contaminated uh, and, and people are being misled because the, the use by date is, is being artificially uh, extended, mm. then that, that's, that's not only criminal, but it's potentially harmful mm. um, you know, in terms of health. Harry, I would imagine that uh, this uh, factory and this company is policed very carefully in terms of hygiene standards. I mean, they say they were audited on many occasions just in the two months leading up to when this undercover footage was filmed. Now, either the audits were very flimsy mm. or or we're not getting the full picture here. I mean, I, the, the thing I was particularly shocked about is the food being sent back by the supermarkets, which they often do actually, and it's usually for packaging problems. You know, the packaging was damaged, can you repackage it? Mm. And then it's just being mixed in. So you're buying what you think is exclusive uh, for Tesco chicken, Willow Farm, which of course is fictional anyway, mm. and it's not, it's come from Lidl. You know, five day old chicken from Lidl just being bung back on the, on the line. That's what it looks like. It's enough to shock you and make you think I'm not going to buy chicken from those supermarkets again, isn't it? I mean, this is a massive problem for those supermarkets as well as for us who want to buy it. Is there a potential that we're being a little bit squeamish here? That chicken dropped on the floor, you know, and picked up again isn't the end of the world. That even though they're changing the, the use by dates, we're still, you know, largely safe. Should before we start some hysteria, you know, what is the situation? Well, yes, you can argue that, and yeah. I think our standards have improved greatly in the last couple of decades. It probably is safer than 20, 30 years ago, but I'm not wild mm. on the changing of the use by date. I, I think yeah. that's a real scandal. This is not horse meat, which was, there was nothing wrong with horse meat. It was just a breach of trust. This is fiddling of the dates, and I think that's more serious. I think mm. you're right about not scaring people too much, though, and we had similar scares with avian flu, uh, bird flu, which we mm. never saw a case of in the UK. Mm. Everybody BSC, can't stop if buying you're old chicken. enough to remember yeah, all that with, absolutely, with absolutely. Yeah. So, I, so I think we need to get this in perspective, but it has to be policed much more tightly. This has to stop mm. in order to prevent further problems. 280,000 people are infected with Campylobacter every year. It's the most common cause of food poisoning in this country. And if they're cutting yeah. corners like that, you don't want to think they're adding to it. Uh, yeah. If consumers are concerned, though, Harry, what can they do? Mm. If maybe they've bought some chicken and they're, they're nervous that it could have come from two sisters. Well, I mean, you can ring up your supermarket and ask. There's a strong chance it has come from two sisters. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I, I think we, we have to believe that that what's on the shelves, this is the problem, because we, we you know, we what's don't. on the shelves, we don't. There is mm. this, this, I don't know whether I do trust this is exactly used by, but obviously, you know, don't eat things over the used by date if you are worried. And what about the supermarkets themselves? What kind of responsibility and reaction should they be having? Well, they should be, I mean, again, the company says that the supermarkets send in, the super, supermarkets have their own auditors who go in, sometimes mm. even unannounced. They need to be strict with these things. Often, when these scandals come about, they go, well, we have audits, and they often farm them out to third parties. Mm. They need to spend more money using their own audits. Someone like M&S has a reputation for to protect and that yeah. means spending money on sending their own employees in and really checking yeah. things thoroughly. I agree with that because they demand high
high volume for low cost uh, and yeah. they're putting pressure on the processes so there's pressure everywhere and, and maybe the supermarkets also need to do a little bit more as we've just serious brand damage if they don't the two sisters food group said it took the allegations very seriously and will be investigating thoroughly and promptly a spokesperson said food safety and hygiene was its number one priority from some of that footage you didn't necessarily there's going to be like a that. few stressed people this morning yeah, on there absolutely. on all sides thank you harry thank you